नमस्कार डियर स्टूडेंट सारी दुनिया कहती है कि हार मान लो लेकिन दिल धीरे से कहता है एक बार और कोशिश कर तू जरूर कर सकता है हमने हमारे जीवन में कई बार देखा हुआ है हम कुछ काम करते हैं उसमें फेल हो जाते हैं और कोई और हमने कहता है बस अभी तो कुछ भी मत कर मगर दिल में से धीरे से आवाज आती है एक बार कोशिश कर तू जरूर कामयाब होगा उसी के साथ आज हम एक नए टॉपिक के बारे में चर्चा करने जा रहे हैं बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कीमोथेरापी और बेसिक प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोबियल ड्रग फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस अबाउट द कीमोथेरापी द कीमोथेरापी इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड फर्स्ट वन इज द कीमो एंड सेकेंड वन इज द थेरापी कीमोथेरापी इट्स कीमो इज कॉल्ड द केमिकल और ड्रग थेरापी इज नथिंग बट ट्रीटमेंट कीमोथेरापी इट्स कॉल्ड द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डिसीज दिस टाइप ऑफ द थेरापी वी कैन से दिस इज द कीमोथेरापी कीमोथेरापी ऑफ वन कोल्ड कीमो it used of the drugs or chemical to treatment of the disease it's called the chemotherapy the use of the chemicals to destroy or inhibit the harmful parasites without disturbing the host tissue this is the most important thing host tissue the chemicals to destroy or inhibit the harmful parasite without disturbing the host that means where the infection is occurring those particular area cannot be affected this is the main role of chemotherapy the word the word derived by the paul and rich at the beginning of the 20th century the first word those are originated or tell one word this is the chemotherapy it is by paul and rich this scientist so he is also known as the father of modern chemotherapy the new definition of the chemotherapy the use of the synthetic chemical to destroy ineffective agent that means bacteria virus fungus and parasites this type of the chemical agent we can say this is the chemotherapy also applied to inhibit growth of the malignant or cancerous cells with in the body this also we can say chemotherapy agent other word we are using surrounding to us the chemo that nothing but or we are thinking about the treatment is going on related to the cancers sometimes inhibit the growth of malignant and cancerous cell within the body it's also we can say this is the chemotherapy here some example of the where the chemotherapy that become working some bacterial infections here you can see this is the bacterial infection due to this we have to finding the wound here another bacterial infection that near to lips and this uh, bacterial infection we have to find on the cheeks and this bacterial infection happening on to our legs this is some examples in these disease we use the chemotherapy some fungals here you can act on neck area this is our skin area between fingers and here you can see this is the on our leg so just the, this is the this this is the some of the fungus we have to find out and in these fungus in these fungus we are using the antifungal and antifungal is the main parts from the chemotherapy malaria malaria is mainly occurring by the mosquito and due to these uh, the patient is suffering with, with malaria and during those times we are getting the treatment those treatment we can say this is a chemotherapy some cancer agent that is uh, skin cancer as well this is the tongue cancer and these cancers are also treated by the one chemical agent those chemical agent we can say this is the chemotherapy aids acquired immune deficiency syndromes it's a virus disease mainly occurred by the hiv human immunodeficiency virus and in this virus treatment we are using the antiviral drug and antiviral drug is the main origin from the chemotherapy 
so here we discuss about the various bacterial infection viral infection fungal and protozoal infections main treatment is a chemotherapy so this chemotherapy including mainly two words or two things first one is the antibiotics and second thing with chemotherapeutic agent first we discuss about the antibiotics so antibiotic is the agent produced by the some microbes having the properties to kill or inhibit the growth of organism this type of the agent we can say this is the antibiotics today the many antibiotics derived from the synthetic forms in earlier we are known the most of antibiotic those are derived from the natural sources like the bacteria fungus virus and protozoals in protozoa but today's the antibiotic also derived from the synthetic form that means chemical form some example from this antibiotic is the penicillin streptomycin and tilde as we would find azithromycin this is the examples of the antibiotics <clears throat> the antibiotics may have the narrow spectrum antibiotic as well as the broad spectrum antibiotic first narrow spectrum antibiotic that means these narrow that means this antibiotic only effective against the gram positive or gram negative bacteria or microorganism this type of the agent antibiotic we can say narrow spectrum antibiotic narrow that means we are using what narrow minded surrounding narrow that means those having some a limited area so here this drug only effect against gram negative or gram positive broad spectrum that means these agent against both gram positive as well as the gram negative bacteria this is broad broad spectrum type of antibody we are using wording to surround uh, rooting life broad minded person is there those having the big ideas big uh, thinking power that means more than one gram positive as well as the gram negative micro <coughs> organism next what is the chemotherapeutic agent chemotherapeutic agent is also destroy or prevent the growth of microbes but may not derived from the living organism so this thing <clears throat> here you should remembering that these are the agent destroy or prevent the growth of microbes but not derived from the living organism this agent can derive from living but antibiotic we derived from microorganism as well as synthetic form both all chemotherapeutic agent are antibiotics <laughs> all chemotherapeutic agent because of antibiotic that may be from the synthetically as well as the naturally so chemotherapeutic agent we get from the synthetically from so whole chemotherapeutic agent we can say this is the antibiotics but all antibiotic are are not a chemotherapeutic agent because of the all antibiotic antibiotic are derived from the natural as the synthetic but chemotherapy has only synthetically formed so we can't say the whole antibiotic is not all chemotherapy agent some example is there sulfonamides isoniazid metronidazole these are all derived from chemical sources that mean synthetically sources <clears throat> the word derived by the paul and richera chemotherapy father of modern chemotherapy the evolutionary period of the chemotherapy can be divided into four periods is history behind the chemotherapy first pre and rich era that means before 1891 second thing the paul and rich era during the paul and rich era what thing are happening 1891 to 1935 modern era of chemotherapy and golden era of antibiotics then the first thing pre and rich era before 1891 in this the compound was cinchona bark used for the malaria and mercury in the syphilis means before 1891 and rich era is there uske pehle ki baat hai jahan pe and rich era nahi tha during those time the cinchona bark are used in the treatment of malaria earlier level there is no regarding information about the chemotherapy and mercury is also in the treatment of syphilis syphilis the skin infections so this is the uh, earlier going uh, we are knowing our history having knowing 
the this agent are used for particular infectious material <clears throat> in paul and rich era 1891 to 1935 done number of observation paul and rich era done so many experiment on spirochetals bacterium and the treponema pallidum subspecies of pallidums syphilis are cured by the organic arsenic he decided syphilis is cured by organic arsenic number of experiment on animal which infected with the microbes causing the syphilis and treat with various chemicals with different doses the idea was kill to parasites without harm and damage to host they done so many experiment and they identify the killed parasite but without harming to host cells and he synthesized about 606 compound in which salvarsan only effective which salvarsan is only effective but other arsenic were not effective so just that here uh, in these uh, p uh, paul andri chera during those time he done so many experiment out of these he decide the salvarsan is only effective against the syphilis so this this is the this is the uh, thing happening into paul and rich era he also gives the some other informations regarding the chemotherapeutic index means margin of safety for some chemotherapeutic drugs margin of safety that means we are says that this drug are used to those particular dose how what is dose if we go to more than that dose we find some toxic effect So those ratio we can say margin of safety safety is there suppose i have one good example is there if we run or just drive the car more than 100 km for hours that may chance of complex so this is a margin of safety safety so we can't go more same as the so just we use the more than concentration drug that may be produce side effect so this is called a margin of safety you, this thing is done by I Paul and Rich. <clears throat> He also discovered the drug with paracytotropic actions and no organotropic action. He also discovered that this drug that only inhibit or kill the parasites, not effect onto the organs. A agent only combined with parasite does not interfere with the host. Modern era of chemotherapy was started when the dogma of the scientist comes. introduced the sulfonamides 1932 successfully antibacterial agent because of were effective against the number of pathogenic microbes sulfapyridine was the first sulfonamide to marketed in 1930 it is the first drugs various antibiotics were discovered like the penicillin by alexander fleming 1928 streptomycin waxman 1940 what about alexander fleming so alex working on the culture of the staphylococcus in his laboratory found the mouth was screening substance that was killing the bacteria so this thing find out by alexander fleming just here you can see the alexander showing the some observation on to his petri dish in his laboratory so here you can see this petri dish this is the penicillin colony is there here you can see this penicillin corner that zone of inhibition and here the growth of bacteria is there in between there is no growth that indicated this the fungus that produced the zone of inhibition uh, this area we can say area of inhibition of bacterial growth so this is done by the alexander fleming chemotherapeutic agent as the bacteriostatic and bacteriocidal the bacteriostatics that means that these are agent inhibit the growth of bacteria sulfonamides nitrofurans and erythromycin inhibit the growth nothing to kill this type of the agent we can say bacteriostatic bacteriocidal kill the bacteria that kill the bacteria example is penicillin streptomycin polymyxin b is the example of bacteriocidal drugs thank you very much for watching pharma josh youtube channel please like our channel share our channel सब्सक्राइब्स एंड ये आपको अच्छा लगा है तो कमेंट भी कीजिए थैंक यू वेरी मच